I've recently got the new ASAP Rocky album, so that's been getting around. The Entourage movie was the last one I've seen, and that was a big build up for that, so that was good. I'll go Camo Shay. Uh, St Kilda. Probably being biased, but I think so. Um, we're pretty lucky to play in front of 40, 45, even 50 most weeks, and um, it's just been incredible for the last two years there. I don't think so. I think Americans probably just aren't used to a bit of grit, and us Aussies are pretty good at giving that. Uh, it's hard to go past that five. I think it's just such a big step up across the whole competition. I mean, the gap between the last side and, and the best side is probably not even that, that great. And there's no guaranteed wins if you slip up, even for a quarter, you, you're a chance to lose. So, so I think it's the competition and the teams are defending so well. Uh, Ollie Wines is a pretty big pest. I know he just likes getting under everyone's skin. Brad Ebert would be my safe bet, but I'll, I'd like to think Jack Honch and that fellow defender would be up there too. Well, I'm pretty happy with the way it is right now. I mean, it doesn't really worry me too much. <laughs> We've got a few, unfortunately. Uh, Jackson and, and Chad are, are pretty high up there. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to answer that one. I'll go Schultz, you one of the old fellas. <laughs> <laughs>